everyone how are you guys welcome back to another video today is a beauty slash lifestyle type of video I don't know it's my current favorites I haven't done a favorites in a while and I figured this is the perfect time to do it because one of you had requested it to me and I realized I haven't done one in a little bit so this is going to be everything from beauty makeup hair fashion jewelry some of my hobbies lifestyle things like some of the apps I've been obsessed with and loving um, this video is not sponsored by anybody in any way shape or form we're not there yet I wish this was sponsored but it's not also before I get questions I'm going to have a video up later this week on this makeup look right here so if you are curious to the details of this makeup look it's going to be one of the videos for um, this week that will be posted so stay tuned for that now I'm just gonna jump right into this because I know this is going to be a long video and the Sun is going down so we're gonna be losing a lot of light soon so let's just get right into my current favorite Okay, I don't even know where to start. There's a bunch of things here that I absolutely love and I can't wait to talk about. Um, you know what, let's start with, okay, let's start with this. So I recently did a stationary haul and makeup haul and a lot of you guys were excited that I was getting into like a new hobby, teaching myself hand lettering and calligraphy and all of that. So I've been practicing a lot. All of my books are on my desk, but I have been obsessed with, okay, let's start with these. These pens right here, they look like normal pens, right? No, they're not. These are the Tombow Fudinescu, Fud, Fudinesuki, Fud, Fudin, Fudinesco brush pens. And it comes in a two pack like this at Michael's and it's only in the color black. But they recently released, finally, after a bajillion years, they released colored versions of these pens. I don't remember if it's the hard tip or the soft tip because one is hard and one is soft. I don't even remember which one's which. But one is a hard tip and one is a soft tip. Now, I enjoy both of these and I love these and use these so much more to practice my hand lettering than all of those colorful Tombow brush pens that I picked up in that stationery haul that I showed. You guys saw that I bought, I bought like four or five different packs, of the big packs of the Tombow dual t dual ended brush pens. And I still love those and I think they're great, but I don't use them as much as I use these two guys right here. These have a smaller tip to them. Look how tiny that tip is. Um, and it's just perfect to make holiday cards, which is what I'm going to show you next. I'm super proud and super excited about these. Oh, but these are just my absolute favorite, and I'm obsessed. Especially when you're starting off and you're learning, the bigger, colorful Tombow ones are a more difficult to actually practice with, honestly. I've been testing them out, and these have been the best. The Crayola fine tip markers I think they are and I got the 50 pack from Target you can get these for super inexpensive you guys and I'm gonna be honest I don't use these to hand letter but I use these a lot for my holiday cards and when I'm decorating and when I'm doodling these are the best markers to color everything in with um, they don't bleed through paper or anything like that even though I do use like cardstock and marker paper um, but there's so many colors you can get this for so such a really good price and I love these I'm obsessed with these so okay moving on from the markers and pens I have been making holiday cards and I have been having so much fun you guys I have to be honest I use a lot of inspiration from one specific youtuber which I will mention in a little bit but for the holiday cards that I've been making I uh, picked up these right here I don't know if I showed these to you guys before but they are um, pretty much pre-made uh, blank cards and I got the white and then I got the ivory right here So this is by the brand love Nicole and I picked these up at AC more But it comes with 25 blank cards that fold in half and 25 envelopes that match as well So I got the white like I said in the ivory and these were super inexpensive and um, Yeah, so I've been making holiday cards and I'm going to show you some of them So my biggest inspiration for pretty much all of these cards because I pretty much tried to copy exactly what she did is the YouTuber Amanda Rach Lee. I believe that's her name. I'm going to leave her linked down below. I'm going to put her name right here on the screen. But she is a bullet journaler, um, a calligraphy, hand lettering type of YouTube channel. But I just love her aesthetic and I love how she makes her videos. So every year she puts out a video showing different ways to make holiday cards. And I copied them. Oh, I tried to copy them exactly because this is my first year doing it. This is my first time even trying calligraphy and hand lettering. And I'm just, my mind isn't 
in that routine to think of like doodles and ideas and stuff so she is the most amazing person that comes up with just random holiday doodles and cards so these are their cards that I made the other day this one's a little penguin and again all of these are inspired by Amanda's um, Amanda's video that she posted this year and last year actually I think this one might have been from last year super simple I really like these more simple type of cards oops that one's oh I know sorry this one as well and I'm again I'm proud of myself I'm getting pretty good I'm it's not perfect but I feel like my friends will have to suck it up <laughs> but um this one's really cute. This is from like this year's video that she posted all the different types of presents. So I drew all of these or I sketched them and then I outlined them and then I colored everything in. Um, the ornaments, she did like an ornament video and I just thought of this like ornament kind of set up for this card here. Um, oh my gosh, this one's really cute. This one's from her last year's video. But yeah, she has amazing ideas, you guys. These are my favorite. This one especially. She posted this video a couple days ago, and I saw this. I was like, oh, I need to try it. So I did it, and it turned out pretty well. Again, my hand lettering isn't the best, but yeah. And there's that one. All right, so enough with the stationery. Now I want to talk about some of my favorite apps on my phone. And I feel like a lot of us spend so much time on our phones, it's inevitable for you to not have your most used apps. So I wanted to go through a few of my favorites. So right off the bat, I all the time use Uber and Lyft. And if you guys live in a city like I do, it's just the easiest way to get around rather than getting into a car, trying to find parking in the city is the worst and it'll take you about an hour to do it. So Uber and Lyft are lifesavers. Lately I've been using Lyft a lot more because they actually give me promo codes and like 10% off, 20% off rides and stuff like that. But I use both Uber and Lyft and I probably use it almost every day the next app that i've absolutely been obsessed with and i talked about this in one of my other videos before as well probably a vlog or two ago but poshmark if you guys are not on poshmark and you love shopping and you love high-end items like i do check out poshmark you can find things for such a good deal and again i've talked about this before so i'm not going to go into it but i'm going to leave the link down below if you guys use my link or my code to sign up for poshmark you get a five dollar credit so and i get a five dollar credit but if you're going to sign up anyway you might as well get a free five dollars right so i'm going to leave my links down below for all of these apps that i'm going to mention um, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. I would appreciate it if you did, but you totally don't have to. But Poshmark has been the devil, but also an angel to me because I find the most amazing things for such a good deal. Yet again, I'm always on their shopping, so just, just be careful. The next app I'm going to talk about, which every YouTuber on here has talked about because it's the holiday season and everyone's buying gifts, everyone's shopping online because I've purchased so many things online and I've gotten so much cash back, Ebates. Ebates is the best app if you are an online shopper if you have not signed up yet i'm surprised you're not signed up because everyone talks about it because it's free and you get cash back my last ulta order that was almost two hundred dollars i got twenty five dollars cash back on that order and i'm like it's it's the easiest thing in the world we'll leave that link down below as well i'm sure a lot of you guys are already signed up but if you're not check it out if you're making online purchases you are more than likely missing out on a lot of cash back so tis the season i've been shopping online way too much but i justify it with the cash back from ebay it's it like it's literally money back in my pocket so check that out as well all right my last favorite app is a photo editing app i know people are like oh my gosh you shouldn't edit your photos da, 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 da. And i'm like girl everyone edits their photos i edit mostly for lighting maybe i'll just blur something that's really textured or anything like that but facetune if you've never heard of facetune which i'm pretty sure you have everyone uses facetune and talks about it it's the perfect app to just edit your photos in the most natural way like my photos still look like me it doesn't look super super edited it just looks refined so check out facetune um i'm gonna leave all these names and apps down below just in case you guys miss it or forget everything will be listed down below but facetune is probably one of the best apps to actually edit your photos without making it look so fake okay now that we are through with all the technology stuff we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty and the good stuff the makeup the beauty the hair care the fun stuff actually i'm sorry before we get into hair care i want to talk a little bit about jewelry because i've been so much more obsessed with jewelry lately um for earrings i've been obsessed with these like really just dainty type of earrings and hoops i love hoops and i love dainty earrings so 
Um, these little tiny baby gold ones, they're actually little lips. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're little, like, they're shaped in like a lip shape <laughs> but these are from hot look which the link is always down below for hot look but it's a sister company to nordstrom rack so um i ordered these off of hot look a while ago they're uh i think 24 karat plated gold something like that they're plated in gold um so i got those and then i've also been loving these little tiny gold um hoops right here and these are in the like octagon type of shape can you guys see that they're so thin which i love they're really delicate and i enjoy that especially if you're going more of a loud necklace of course i have to mention this necklace right here i've been loving this necklace i recently got this and it's from bobble bar bobble bar is a website where you can order jewelry from and i've had jewelry from them before but i actually found this at tj maxx for 20 dollars. it was like 19.99 and i think on bobble bar you can still get this for maybe like 35 or 40 but it's a layered necklace and I love how it lays on my chest I love how it's a higher choker type of necklace um, and it does the layering for you I'm the worst at layering and putting jewelry together and I, I'm just not good at that so when I found this and it had all three layers attached I was like thank you thank you for doing the work for me okay the Sun is actually really going down like real fast all right so moving on the next thing i want to show you guys is this right here it's called smooth me it's an ingrown hair serum i get a brazilian done every eight to ten weeks so yeah down there all comes off bald eagle so you always have to upkeep it if you get a bikini wax or brazilian or anything like that um if you haven't tried it i know it sounds scary but i am telling you do it it is so worth it before that i was shaving down there and i would get so uncomfortable you would get bumps razor burns all of that since i started waxing down there maybe about two years ago or something maybe even longer it has changed my life my hair on my hoo-ha does not grow it just doesn't grow it barely grows it's so thin i absolutely love it so i know this might be tmi for some of you people some men are watching out there i'm super sorry but if you've never experienced a bikini wax i'm gonna be honest the first time hurts it hurts so bad you want to cry but if you keep it up i've been doing it for again a little over two years it changed my life changed my life so i use the smooth me which is the european wax center um brand of body care and it's their ingrown hair serum just to make sure everything is copacetic down there we don't want any ingrown hairs down in the hoo-ha area so i do this every single night all right the next thing we're going to talk about are some hair care products dry shampoos you guys know i live on dry shampoo i try to wash my hair every four days so i'll go you know four or five days without washing my hair and dry shampoo is the only thing that gets me through so the first one that i've actually was surprised is the sephora brand so Sephora has a coconut water dry shampoo. It only comes in this size. They don't have like a big one, but I like this because it is a very thin and light texture. A lot of dry shampoos will add a lot of thickness and like texture and like volume to your hair, which I can appreciate sometimes, but sometimes when you're layering that dry shampoo, it gets gunky. It gets so just like built up in there but the sephora coconut water one is a thinner mist but it still takes away the shine which i appreciate so sephora you're doing it right with this dry shampoo the next dry shampoo that i've been loving is the philosophy amazing grace dry shampoo now, but i use this mainly for day four or day five because this has the amazing grace fragrance in it and if i'm gonna be honest with you guys day four day five of me not washing my hair do not come close to my scalp. It does not smell good. I mean, it doesn't smell terrible, but if I was like out with a guy or if I was on a date, I wouldn't want him to kiss my forehead. That's for sure. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good. Let's say that. So the Philosophy Amazing Grace puts that little bit of fragrance to kind of block that weird oily kind of smell. Um, if you need to get through for one more day. All right, the last things we're going to be talking about is obviously makeup. Yay, makeup. It's my favorite part. So I'm going to go through some face products that I've been absolutely loving. No surprise as well. A lot of these products I have on my face 
today but again that video will be up later this week it might be wednesday or friday i i don't know yet i haven't decided anastasia their highlighter by amreezy this was a limited edition product and then they brought it back for the holiday so it's back in stores right now so if you missed it during the first launch they relaunched it um for the holiday i don't know if it's a permanent thing now but it used to be limited edition and it looks like this how gorgeous is this it's actually what i'm wearing that's my highlight today and it's the perfect glow without bringing out so much of your texture you guys like oh my gosh is it picking it up how beautiful is that let's do a swatch i haven't done swatches in so long <gasps> Like, is that not everything? The next makeup item I've been absolutely obsessed with is this blush right here. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I feel like they don't. I'm so sorry if they don't, but it's by Lorac. <laughs> it's their Baked Matte Satin Blush in the color Velvet Rope. You guys, these satiny blushes are what gives me life during the winter. Like, I am all about the glow during the winter time. So this is a satin finish, and it's this beautiful, like... Oh, I just like dug my finger in that. It's like a beautiful neutral pinky mauve color. I'm wearing it today and it translates very different because it's mixed with like my bronzer and my highlighter, but it is so smooth. It gives you a little glow. It's not matte, so you're not going to look dry or powdery. It's just the best. And they have two other colors or they used to have two other colors so i'm going to try to find those again the next two and last two face products are powders and i used yes i used both of these today um for this look so again stay tuned for that video laura mercier candle glow sheer perfecting setting powder and number two oh my goodness it looks like, like a whole lot of nothing but this is what i set my entire face with and it's the perfect powder if you don't want a super matte finish if you want a natural skin like glow of a finish this powder is it i'm gonna try to do a swatch i don't know if you'll even be able to see it because it's a actually maybe right there yes because it's a it's a sheer powder but do you guys see that oh not really it looks like skin that's the only thing i can like really describe it as a little bit of a glow little tiny bit of color but it is it's just so pretty you guys it's the best to set your entire face and they have a bunch of different shades um this is in shade number two so i absolutely love the setting powder if you're looking for a new one to try that's not matte all of my powders are matte and it drives me crazy so if you want one that's not matte try that one all right the last setting powder because the sun is literally gone i'm working with the littlest of light ever outside okay so hourglass you guys know i am obsessed with the hourglass ambient lighting powders this one especially this one is in diffuse light i'm using it today under my eyes it's the perfect not glowy but not completely matte under eye brightener i also use the kim kardashian kkw beauty eye brightener and that one's more matte so in the winter time i want to make sure my skin doesn't look dry and flaky so the hourglass diffuse light these are expensive i think this is like 46 bucks for this powder but it does magic to my under eyes all right you guys the sun is completely gone so i have to go but i want to thank you guys so so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed my current favorites if you have any requests please leave them down below also subscribe if you haven't i would really really appreciate it and hit the notification bell so you are notified when i post monday wednesday and friday also follow me on instagram i'm extremely active on instagram and i'll leave all the links and all the products i had mentioned down below and yeah oh my gosh it's getting so dark all right thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.